All right, the inquest into the death of anti-apartheid activist Dr. Neil Agat will continue with uh, Premanathan Naidu uh, expected to testify at the High Court in Johannesburg today. Let me bring in Hasina Gori, who's been covering the story for us. Hasina, a very good morning to you. What do we know about the next person to testify today? Good morning. Yes, Blaine, as you mentioned, it's Prema Naidu, known as Prema Naidu. He's also an ex-detainee in John Foster. He was there alongside Anil Agat at about the same time he was incarcerated. We've been hearing this week from many people who've been um, either detained or worked at John Foster, the notorious uh, police station known um, for its rigorous and quite gruesome um, torture done to detainees. We heard from the ex-police uh, officer who was a security branch uh, police officer, uh, Joe Nyampule, earlier in uh, the week. Um, in the last few days, we've heard from Barbara Hogan, a uh, cabinet, uh, former cabinet minister, as well as yesterday from uh, Reverend Frank Chikani, um, also describing some of the tortures that they went through uh, during their incarceration and the trauma that they still hold um, even today. Yeah, you know, take us back to what we heard from uh, the Reverend Chikane yesterday. I mean, I just remember some of the details when he was talking about these, the seven days in detention in the 70s and how he had about 10 police officers, officers on top of him, really detailing the psychological and, and, and physical suffering that he went through. Yes, he described that those two in first incarcerations that he went through in the early uh, or late 70s, um, that was some of the worst uh, torture and interrogation he went through. The first was for seven days, the second was for six weeks. Both were quite intense, he said. At one time he was trampled and held down by police officers. He also explained being handcuffed to his feet in various con uh, uh, torted, um, you know, positions for hours. He was made to stand for 48 hours and police officers um, deprived him of sleep taking shifts of eight hours and just torturing him they would mentally and psychologically torture him he said that once he was uh, taken to the 10th floor um, and brought to the window and said that he would be thrown off from that building just like Ahmed Timo was and Steve Biko was and they actually uh, did the motion of uh, threatening uh, to throw him off he said that this was done for many different reasons usually to get information out of um, the prisoners um, some Sometimes for them to make or write statements about other political detainees or others that were not true and that were falsified or to self-incriminate themselves. He said it was quite an emotional um, you know, uh, trauma and that it will break you. You'd feel helpless and you just want to give up. Mm. I see, no, no doubt that you are scanning the room when, when testimony is being given. I mean, sometimes it's graphic uh, testimony that's, uh, that's being given, talking about the apartheid days and the suffering that many have gone through. Uh, what's been the reaction from those that are sitting in the gallery? What we've seen is, especially from uh, other former political detainees, many nodding along or remembering and reminiscing. Also, um, you know, some of uh, the torture that they may have gone through. We spoke with a, a female detainee earlier in the week, and she said this reminded her of what she went through. Many, uh, you know, confirming that this was actually a reality and it was what had happened to them when they were incarcerated. So a lot of nods, and for those that you know may have not lived through that era. For them, you hear that shock or the gasp of, uh, you know, horror um, as these details are being uh, reflected and uh, told to the court. Uh, Premier Naidu's testimony is likely to take the whole day. What time is he uh, likely to start? Um, court is expected to start in a few moments here. Uh, we know from yesterday and from the other uh, testimonies we've seen, they usually take the whole day with a chief of evidence and then cross-examination. So we hope uh, to hear from him for today and maybe going in through Monday as well. All right. Uh, Hasina Gori, thank you very much indeed for that update. Hasina Gori, live for us in Johannesburg.